es B, was das wohl heißt. Geh und denke nach Deutsch und verstehe die Wahrheit. Hey Tribe, I'm outside today. I wanted to talk to you today about what is the get swatch. I hope the sound around me is not too loud and you can hear me well. So let's start with the little guest swatch that I made today because I just finished this top the one that I'm wearing right now you perhaps see already in the intro when I was moving around to show you the top this is a new design called Marilyn top I'm also making today a dress version it's gonna be a little bit different than the top it's gonna be similar in the front but you will see later when it's done because my idea keep changing anyway every single day something new come to me and then I'm trying that I'm trying this and then something else come in the next day you will see when it's finished and if you want to follow my journey of how I you know how the pieces come out to life and if you have a question of how I design everything you can also leave them down below under this video in the comment section because I would love to get to know you and and I don't know how many of you who are crochet designer here and how many of you making crochet pieces for sale do you have an Etsy shop do you have your own website are you a business owner I would like to get to know you more so let me know in the comments below this way I can serve you better and I know what kind of a video to share with you because there are a lot of crochet tutorial out there already so I want to make something different if you are a business Owner, business owner business on if you are a crochet business owner and if you need help to you know grow your business or any kind of the video that crochet relate I would like to make that to share with you but today I want to talk about the get swatch because one of the members asked me yesterday if I can talk more about this I think this is a good question and I think it's very important that we all learn a little bit about the get swatch so if you're new to crochet and when you heard the word guest watch and you get a little bit freaked out by that don't worry me too i actually didn't know what is a guest watch until 2016 when i start to make my own crochet written pattern to share with you and everyone in this community i realized that the crochet guest watch oh the butterfly i realized that the crochet guest watch is very important because every one of us each one of us has different tension when i say tension i mean when you crochet some of us crochet very loose and some crochet very tight for me i find my crochet is not too loose and not too tight but maybe because of i get used to this and for that those who come up with the guest wash is quite smart because the guest wash allow us to be able to count the stitch especially when you decide something when i decide something before i didn't know and i realized that when i make something and when i send out to the tester sometimes it turn out different because some of the tester have a looser tension some of the tester have tighter tension so then i learned over time that the guess what make us um be more conscious or precise on the stitch this is a guest watch but actually it's too small i want to tell you and show you the trick why i don't make always the whole of four inches multiply i think that's how you call multiple multiply i don't know what is this sign i put in the screen here so you know in ravelry for example they ask for the guest watch of the pattern all the time because this way the reader know the guest watch of this pattern and that she can adapt or if her tension is different than the guest watch that asks in this pattern she can either change the hook size or try to make the guest watch that match with the pattern so my trick about this so my trick about this why i don't make always the four inches uh, multiply for four inches all the time so here is my trick this you can see i have like two stitch left here i didn't make all the whole until 20 stitches because i realized after i make 18 half double crochet i used my tape measurement and again you will need the tape measurement if you are crocheter knitter you need to have this because it's very useful you find yourself use make use out of this tape measurement a lot of time so when i have I realized that 18 is 4 inches so then I make 3 rows 
and then I measure again and three rows is oops three rows is one inches so what I do I make a little calculation 18 half double crochet now I know 18 half double crochet equal four inches and three rows is one inches three row and one inches if I want four inches it's gonna be 12 rows so this way I don't have to make all the whole thing of 12 rows of this 18 half double crochet I have a near birth so. and for that this is how I make a calculation and after that I just write it down oh where is my guest wash and then I just take out the yarn and I use it again so the guest wash allows you to know how many stitches of this pattern that call for for example this top is most of the top the whole thing is made out of half double crochet so for that I decided to make a guest wash of half double crochet and the tester before they start to test my pattern I asked them to make the guest wash to see if it's matched with my guest wash and if their tension is too tight or too loose they either they will need to to try to make as close as my as much as possible I always said if the tension one inches more or less is okay because one inches is not that much one or two inches although I always want to have the same tension however when you buy the pattern and this pattern is your you can actually use different hook size to accomplish the same piece like mine but I always put in the pattern what hook size I use for example this one is 4.5 millimeter if your piece turn out to be too tight then you can either try to make it again to match with my guest wash or you can change your hook to be a little bit bigger like half millimeter bigger to match with my guest wash but when we are doing the testing process of my tester we'll use the same hook because I would like to have the same result this way it's not too confusing for the reader and this is my opinion about the guest wash if you have any other opinion or anything more to add to my subject of today please leave them down below this video so we can all learn from you i read all of the comments i reply them all because i like to get to know you better and by the way when i do a crochet tutorial i didn't talk so much of the guest wash because the tutorial is more like i teach you how to measure your body how to measure your boob to make a bra cup that fit you my tutorial this day the last few months is more like teaching you how to design your piece by your own and if I have a tutorial of the top that I design I show you how you can measure your body to make it fit you but if you want to make the top of my design for sale I suggest you to purchase the written pattern because in my written patterns you get all of the sizes from xxs to xl and sometimes even have plus size it depends on the design and you know the tester that i have at that time if you want to be part of our testing group testing team you can join us on our facebook group i have a facebook group we have an amazing team and i would like to invite you to be part of our tribe you know when you follow me here on youtube it's so beautiful because i can teach you something you can learn something new but when you have problem i cannot really help you here because you cannot post the photo of the problem that you are facing and if you just comment under the video and say maya this role i don't understand it's hard for me to help you rather you come to the facebook group where i provided this space for you and everyone to join and share also the work that you work from me that you made from my design and when you have problem Problem. this is the sound of the train the train is coming get out of the way maybe another thing okay no <laughs> so when you pass of the group you can just post the photo and the part that you have problem so me or other members can help you better this way you know and for Instagram why do I have Instagram Instagram is a place that I use as a gallery when I have a new you know design coming or when I have a beautiful photo I want to share with you I love to share on Instagram because Instagram is basically a gallery and also this day I asked you to post a photo and tag me because I want to repost your high resolution photo on my Instagram story and here is my Instagram you can have a look and 
see also the work from the month before from the year before then you can see what I have made so far until now and also I wanted to tell you about this yarn this yarn I got from expressions fiber art and they have many amazing yarn for example this one is a sparkle DK wet and I love it so much it's so soft on the skin to be honest I couldn't take off this top this Marilyn top is my favorite top right now and you know if you want to get this yarn you can use my coupon code maya20 and get 20% off I put the link also for you under this video I actually have a video I do a whole yarn review for this sparkle DK wet yarn you can have a look here also I teach you how to make this crochet knit look I don't know I make lots of mistakes in grammar of English but you know I know you know what I mean I speak from my heart and heart and love is my language <laughs> all, all right. right beautiful people I hope you enjoyed this video and the next video is gonna be about the copyright of my designs for those who want to make my piece is for sale and many of you already did many of you already fill your SC shop with my design and I love love it so much but I want you to have a look a little bit of term and policy over here I put the link also for you under this video so that you don't cross the line then you learn how to actually make your piece to sell without stepping into the law problem all right I wish you a beautiful day beautiful time coming out and enjoy the sunshine before the summer leave us i almost forgot i post this video yesterday about how you can become a gold membership have a look if you want to have all of my written patterns from 2016 until now for free you really need to have a look all right i see you next time Mwah. bye bye <laughs>